Hello friends, welcome to my channel click to express and this is part 3 of charts. So in this I will be discussing on waterfall chart. So let's see what is waterfall chart. So waterfall chart is used to show intermediate values with respect to initial value. The charts and the final values represent the whole bar, rest values are inter intermediate. So you used to see an increment or decrement of a measure. Uh, so here I will be showing you a sample data and uh, how it, it going to signify you who in waterfall chart I will show you. So here these are the marks obtained by a student over the semester. So what what each what, what each uh, uh, you know row going to be doing is to create a uh, bar in a bar chart kind of structure. So you, you will have a bar for this, a, sorry a bar for this, a bar for this. So you will totally have 8 bars and each bar will, uh, will show you the data with respect to the previous one. For example, I will be creating the bar in such a way that let me the column, uh, let me name this column as X. So what I am going to be displaying it as, this will represent me the entire bar that is this 800 that is the marks obtained. The next bar going to show me the marks obtained or the increase or decrease in the marks from the previous one. For example, there is a decrease in the marks so it will be showing me 600 minus 800. Okay, so it will show me minus 200 in my data. So there is a reduction in the marks in the second, second semester. In the third semester it will show me what is the improvement or uh, or reduction in the marks from fifth, from the uh, from the previous semester so it will show me 500 minus the 600 so there is a loss of 100 marks again okay so likewise it will show me the data for everything so let's move to the chart and see how it can be drawn so first of all i'll take the waterfall chart and here I will be using a measure. So measures will be 8 different measures representing this kind of data. So I will be using a set analysis over here. Okay. So first of all move to add chart. What I am going to do is sum of marks obtained, mark, marks obtained and this will be my first semester. So I'll just take a set analysis, write a sum is equals to inside the bracket, I'll write as SEM hyphen one. So this is showing me marks. I'll just copy this so that it can be used in the second one. So it will it will be showing me marks in the first semester. So now let's move and add and I'll just simply add over here as a label as sem. One. Now let's move to the next measure. Here I'll be as adding sem two. Sorry, Z. Cancel. I'll copy the expression from here and going here and writing the second expression. I want to display here sem two minus marks obtained in sem one. If you see over here, you can see there is a decrement in the marks 200. So I can write it here as sum 3. Sorry, sum 2. The third one will show me difference between the marks in sum 3 with sum. So it's going to show me that there is another 100 marks difference. So I'll just name it as SEM3. Likewise for SEM4, SEM4 minus SEM3. So you can see there is an increase in marks of 350. That is your SEM4. Similarly, I will create SEM5 
sem pi over sem 4. So there is further more increase in 50 marks. So likewise you will be creating for each of the bar. So it is very useful. So suppose let's keep it till 6m. So I'll just name it as um, 5. Now the, la the first and the last bar should show me. <coughs> sorry. So first and the last bar should show me the entire bar. So for me the next bar I'm going to show you is 7, 6. So there is a sorry 7, 6 minus 7, 5. So what it's going to do is it's going to show me there is a decrement in the marks. So if you check, check very carefully there is a decrement in the mark sem, sem 6 minus sem 6. So this is how your waterfall will be created. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you and have a nice day.